Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to continue with my uh, Exchange admin videos. Today we're going to go over uh, resources and how they work and why we use them. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff, support videos, talk about how to get into IT, so you know what to do. All right, let's get started. So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm talking about. All right, give me a second. So we're going to do screen three so today we're going to go over resources and uh why they're important and how we use them so resources is a room mailbox uh that it's assigned physically to a location such as a conference room an oratorium a training room or with room mailboxes users can easily reserve the room by including room mailboxes in their meeting requests when they when they do this the room mailbox uses users uses options you can configure to decide whether to invite the room or accept or deny. Uh, room inboxes should never be set as the organizer of the meeting. Rooms should only be added to meetings by including them in the, in the attendee or location fields. So like Kev, this doesn't make any sense. What, 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 what does this mean? So um, in my organization or my other job, we had Skype for Business. So in, in Skype for Business, you could invite the room and actually create a meeting with Skype for Business. And then when you invite the room, you could actually do a phone call within the room using Skype for Business. So that's how I was set up in my organization. Uh, some companies are using Zoom now. So if you if you have um, Zoom conference equipment, you could actually set up a Zoom meeting with the room. And basically, Room Mailbox allows you to reserve the room. So if, if, if you, uh, if you for example, let me, let me show you. I just created one, like literally just now, right? So, for example, this room, right, the 11th floor, I want to reserve the 11th floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email 11th floor at kevtechitsupport.com, and it's just from New York. And then once you once you you basically email the room, it reserves a spot for you. It's like it's like making a reservation, basically. So you're reserving the floor, you're reserving the room, so then you could do whatever you want with the room. And like, why is that important? That's important because when you reserve a room, it's super duper important because then you, you 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 keep yourself very organized. So as an IT professional, you may have two, three, four, five different rooms, right? And you have multiple rooms here that you, that you know it's taken or not. So then you could use a different room for a different person that has a meeting, if that makes sense. So that's that's the reason why we create these, these room mailboxes is to keep ourselves organized and we know what's going on when we're having these meetings, if that makes sense. So that's, that's the purpose of it, all right? And then there's other resources. There's equipment resources. So equipment and mailbox is resource mailbox assigned to a, a to reserve that's not a location specific, such as a portable computer, projector, microphone, or a company car. After an, an administrator creates an, an equipment mailbox, users can easily reserve the piece of equipment by including the corresponding equipment mailbox in a meeting request. You can use the Exchange Admin Center, EAC, and the Exchange Management exchange management shell to create an equipment mailbox for change equipment mailbox property. So what, what is this, Kevin? Um, basically, you're reserving equipment. So now this is there's a so when you click on on the top right here, there's room mailbox, right? Then there's equipment mailbox, you could actually re reserve equipment. So I could create a bunch of these for laptops, computers, PCs, tablets, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So now instead of reserving a room, you're reserving an equipment if that makes sense. So you could reserve a bunch of equipment in your company. If that's what you want to do, you could create a bunch of these and you could actually reserve it, if that makes sense. So that's that's pretty much what it is. And I'm going to show you how it works, like how each one works. And then we're, we're, we'll, we'll wrap it up after that. It's going to be a short video today. It should, shouldn't be complicated. Okay. So 11th floor, do more options. You could actually hide it from the gal, the address book. I've gone over this before. You could actually add people here to allow the room like like they're basically they're, they're the, they're, they um, they allow people to accept and deny so if you put someone here that person could accept or deny the request of the room that the person is trying to reserve so basically that's what it is you're, you're a delegate of the room you allow it or deny it and then there's booking options here there's contact information more information about the, the room where it's located blah 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 then there's the email address and this mail tip and then there's mailbox delegation so you could actually send on behalf of the room, just like a regular mailbox. You could do the same thing here. Just how we, I got over mailboxes in the top over here. You could do the exact same thing. 
you can actually you can actually get you actually when you add the room it gives you a whole mailbox just specifically to that room and you can actually send on behalf of that room you can actually email that room like a regular mailbox if that makes sense so that's pretty cool i, I kind of like that uh, it makes life a lot easier for you, especially when you have different rooms and different floors. So I definitely love this feature and option. If that makes sense. Then there's the equipment or the equipment mailbox. You're like, what is that, Kevin? You click on laptop, right? There is general, same thing. You can hide it. There is the like delegation for that. So you can add people here to, to de decline it, allow it, same thing. Booking options, contact information, email address, mail tip. Same thing, mail, mailbox delegation. You could you could send them, give them access to the mailbox as the owner, and it's the exact same thing. And then that's it. That's that's pretty much it for today. Real easy video, simple to follow. Uh, resources you have your your room mailboxes. If you want someone to have access to a specific floor, they reserve the floor. They use Skype for business. Some companies use Zoom. Some companies use something else. So. That's pretty much it for room mailboxes and hardware equipment. Same thing. If you want to reserve a laptop, a desktop, a PC, then you'll have this set up in your environment. Some companies may have this set up. Some companies may not. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. All right. Take care. Peace. Bye.